Welcome back, fellow Demon Slayer fans. In today's video, we dive deep into the world of Demon Slayer to explore the captivating tale of Upper Moon One, also known as Kokushibo. Prepare to be enthralled by the history, powers, and tragic story of this formidable demon. Let's get started. So who is Kokushibo? This important character in Demon Slayer lore has a storied and dark past. But before we get started, wanna tell you that this contains spoilers. And if you are still watching this, so please subscribe my channel. Kokushibo is a relatively recent addition to the Demon Slayer lineup, and while a lot of information is known about him, he still remains an intriguing figure. At the time of his introduction, he was one of the oldest demons that the audience was aware of besides Musen himself. He has a long and confusing history full of conflicts, battles, and relationships. Frequently he was victorious, rarely did he lose but he was never quite able to shake the worries and insecurities of his human life. Even after 400 years, ultimately his all to human failings caused his downfall, just as they caused his descent into the demon race. Kokushibo was a human during the Sengoku era, and was the older brother of Yorichi Tsugikuni. As a human, he was a powerful swordsman and respected member of the Demon Slayer's cores. However, he was never able to step out of the shadow of his twin, the inventor of sun breathing, from which all other breathing styles are derived. Out of a sense of inferiority, he invented his own breathing technique, moon breathing, though it too was derived from sun breathing, and therefore did little to assuage his jealousy. This struggle plagued him until the moment of his death. He studied under his younger brother, and in this way was able to unlock his Demon Slayer mark, which unlike his brother's, was both on his forehead and chin. When he unlocked this mark, it came with mixed reactions. He had attained greater skills, but also acquired the curse that would take his life at the age of 25. He was so afraid of death that he allowed himself to become a demon, and therefore immortal. This makes him one of the few known Demon Slayers to defect and turned to become a demon. In doing so, he abandoned a wife and two children. Though unlike many new demons, he did not slaughter the vestiges of his human family. Once Kokushibo became a demon, he underwent a radical physical transformation. He acquired two additional sets of eyes and a far more dramatic demeanor. He lived for around 480 years as a demon, successfully thwarting the curse of the Demon Slayer mark. Over these years he gained, and handily held the rank of Upper One of the Twelve Kazuki. It is well known that he defeated multiple challengers for the role, though left only Akaza alive due to the challenge that he posed. For the rest of the defeated would be usurpers. He utilized one of his unique skills to absorb. It is also believed that this may have been his more efficient manner of consuming humans as a demon. He also gained tremendous power that did allow him to eventually defeat his brother, though he did not gain the anticipated satisfaction from it. Instead, his joy was overshadowed by the realization that his brother had managed to evade the curse and live well beyond 25 years, introducing doubt that he had made the right choice in becoming a demon. Again, the viewers aren't treated to the fruition of this doubt until the moment of his death. Additionally, as a demon Kokushibo is able to augment his breathing style with his blood demon art, making Moon breathing into a far more powerful attack, Crescent Moon Blades. It is unclear exactly how many of the forms of Moon breathing, but each form is certainly supplemented by his blood demon art. Despite becoming a demon, Kokushibo chose not to give up his Nikirin blade, instead modifying it with his own blood and flesh to create the new and improved flesh katana. Since it is modified with his body, it is arguably sharper and more durable than the average Nikirin blade. He created for it an equally monstrous fleshy scabbard. So viewers, this much spoiler is enough for today. Not gonna spoil the death of Kokushibo. What are your thoughts on Kokushibo? Did you find his backstory and powers intriguing? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more Demon Slayer content.